Okay, we've got a multiple allele problem here. Let's begin by looking at the problem. So we're going to use the allele dominance from the previous slide. Make sure you copy that out, actually. Um, and we are going to determine the frequency, the ratio, and the percentage chance that a white-eyed fruit fly will be produced from the mating of a heterozygous honey with a heterozygous honey. So we're talking fruit fly eye color here. Let's take a look at this problem. There's the problem there. Here's our place to write. Uh, again, we always want to know our alleles. Let's get my pen color the way I like it. Alleles, parents, offspring. Let's look at those three things. In fact, I'm just going to focus on parents and offspring right now because I've got that information in the problem. We know our alleles from our previous slide, in fact, already. So we do have those. Make sure you've got those listed out in front of you right now. Hmm, offspring. We're looking for the chance of a white-eyed. Okay, so that's going to be an E4. E4. That's the only combination that gives you a white-eyed. And we want to know the chance of a heterozygous honey crossed with a honey. So we've got a honey crossed with a honey. Let's write, first of all, the phenotype. Let's put the genotype down here. So honey heterozygous is going to be E3, E4. That would be honey, heterozygous honey. And crossed with another heterozygous honey, E3, E4. Well, fairly straightforward. Again, we already had our alleles from the previous slide. We know what the parents were talking about. This is the offspring that we want. We want to figure out uh, the frequency. So that's going to be 0 point something. Uh, what else? We want to do a ratio. And we also want to do a percentage. We want to be comfortable with all three of these potential answers to this question. Percent. Okay, let's do our Punnett square though and then get our answer. Put our Punnett over here. Plug our parents in, heterozygous honey. Put the gametes on top here. The other, other heterozygous honey, put its gametes over here on the side. Again, that is what the Punnett square is representing and modeling. It's, all, it's actually a simulation, in fact. So we're going to see all the possible offspring of these two being mated. Well, some of the offspring are going to be E3, E3, homozygous honey. Here's a heterozygous honey. Here's another heterozygous honey. Hmm, take a look at this though. One out of four, or 25%, the offspring should be white-eyed. That is one of our answers in percentage. Kind of percentage is kind of the easiest. 25% uh, offspring white-eyed. Again, this is how your work should look for a problem like this. Uh, as you're doing this problem, and we do suggest that you do this exact problem on your own after watching it, um, do it this way. It's a good procedure to go through. So 25% of our offspring are white-eyed. Let's come down here. We're going to actually do our answer because our answer not only wants to know percentage, it wants to know frequency, and it wants to know the ratio. So we'll start with what we've got right here. So 25% offspring white-eyed. As a frequency, that's 0.25 frequency or white-eyed. So percentage and frequency are basically the same thing. Q U. Let's try to spell the word frequency correctly for you. I know that's just something. It's kind of handy to spell stuff right. Right. E and C Y. There we go. Frequency. What I. What about the ratio? 
Well, if we look up above here, uh, out of four potential types of offspring, one to three are white-eyed. Uh, three to one are going to be honey. One to three are white-eyed. So we get a one to three ratio of white eye to honey. There we go. Okay, let's see what we're going to learn next.